Ali Prince Adekunle Abu is our daughter in newly married to Pius's son. Top politicians, royal fathers, business moguls, other dignitaries storm event magnificently. Sat, the 23rd of October, 2021 was a glorious day for the families of former Ikiti State Governor, His Excellency Ayodele Fayoshe and Mr. Adekunle Abdul as their children, Oluwaloniba and Olamide tied the nuptial knots to the delights of top politicians, business moguls and dignitaries who graced the event. The event was held at the highly octane monarch event center owned by Oluri Aramidi Ilibushi, wife of HRM Oba Saheb Ademola Ilibushi of Ikate Kingdom. The event hall was royally and classically designed to the brim as guests were astonished about the display of creativity unleashed by the hall decorators. The engagement ceremony of Olamide and Uluwaluniba commenced at exactly 9 a.m. while the exchange of vows took place at 12 p.m. after which reception followed immediately. It was indeed a glamorous event as every protocol was duly followed. Leading royal fathers to the event was the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Adeyeye Eniton Ogumusi Ojaja to whose mercurial presence dictated the case. Political top players in Nigeria who were at the event include the host Governor Babajide Ulushola Sanwo Ulu of Lagos State, Akwa Ibom State Governor Emmanuel Udom, Oshun State PDP Guba Candidate Senator Ademola Minister of Youth and Sports Sunday Bear, Adelike, Khan. Ladipuku Adebutu, HRM Oba Sahid Ademola Ilegushi and wife Oluri Aramide, Bolaji Esho Eldorado, Alhaji Rasak Olanrewaju, LARMEX, while Dr. Taiwo Akolabi led the array of business moguls and boardroom Caesars who were around to felicitate with both the bride and groom's families. Dr. Afolabi was there with his wife, Chief Mrs. Afolashade. Snippets from the conjugal bliss of Olamide and Uluwaluniba saw the groom's side men don sparkling white abada complemented with a glittering blue cap while the women were spotted in magnificent yellow lace complemented with super blue gile. On the side of the bride, her side men were donned in white abada and tail cap and the women on tail lace and tail gile. Highly elated family, friends and well-wishers of both the Payashe and Abdul dynasties all said one or two things about the union of the families through their children, Olamide and Uluwaluniba. Maritime mogul and hospitality Caesar Dr. Taiwo Akolabi, a close friend to the bride's father, expressed his joy and excitement on the wedding of Olamide and Uluwaluniba. The highly respected businessman also prayed fervently for the new couple to have all the best things of life from the Almighty God. Also, the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Adeyeye Eniton Udumusi spoke glowingly about the marriage and admonished the couple to always maintain peace within themselves and not allow bad influence to be involved in their union. He also prayed for a better life for them. Every other dignitary that stormed the event also added pep talks for the couple even as their family members were not left out of their commendation. On the bandstand to thrill guests with sonorous tunes and danceable sounds was the most popular female juju artist Queen Ayobalogo QAB, who rendered the best of musical performances to the delight of attendees. It was indeed a joyous day for both the renowned outspoken and rugged politician, His Excellency Dr. Ayodele Fayosh, his wife Fayiset and the groom's parents, Mr. Adekunle and his wife Mujisola, the bride's parents who were very happy that, at last, their once upon a time, babies will now be living a new life as husband and wife. We at High Celebrity Squad Media wish the new couple a very happy married life blessed with beautiful and tremendous fruits of the womb.
We are thanking you because you counted us to be among the living today. That is why we are standing. We do not take it for granted, O Lord. It's a great privilege. Many that are better than us, that are stronger than us, they are gone. But you have kept us. Father, we say, take all glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have chosen to join your children together. I mean, joining together of Olami Day and Uruaniba. Father, we bless your name because your faithfulness is so sure over this world. Thank you for their conception. Thank you, Lord, even for keeping them to see this beautiful day. Thank you because you know you will continue to keep them to see many more years. Father, we bless your name, Lord. Thank you for the parents that have given that gave back to these ones. Thank you, Lord, even for keeping them. Father, we say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, we are committing this service and even every other thing that will be done today into your hands. We ask that we take absolute control in the name of Jesus. Perfect, O Lord, even everything concerning us in the name of Jesus. And the home that is being established, O Lord, we pray, shall be for signs and for wonders. You will bless them abundantly. Your glory will shine over them. At the end of everything, Lord, we pray that you will take all glory. Thank you, Almighty Father. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Before the fall of man, as in the city, you know, between Christ and his church. And that Christ sent so marriage is only left for the fact that the honor and invitation to the wedding in Canaan, Organic, and married upon his first marriage. And also, Apostle Paul pointed out that marriage is an honorable thing between a man and a woman and should be kept dear. Therefore, marriage should not be rushed into to satisfy any kind of lust. It has to be approached with dignity and the fear of the law. Reasons for marriage. Firstly, it's essentially for mutual fellowship. And I pray to God that the two of you will be available for each other for decades to come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Secondly, my life is to check the sinful life of adultery so that those not gifted to the continent can marry and thus keep themselves pure, even as the body of Christ. Finally, marriage is available for the purpose of procreation and having children that will fear the Lord and abide the teaching of His words and glorify His holy name. Therefore, if anyone has any reason or reasons, why this two should not be joined in only matrimony, such a person to mention as now. And if there is none, let everyone remain silent on this marriage forever. This has a fix the old man. Now both of you should realize that you cannot be drawn contrary to the will of God. Therefore, does any of you have any reason or reasons why it should not be drawn in the name of No. No reason. No reason. No, sir.
Yes, I do. Yes, I do.
and stretch forth our hands towards them as we bless them. I want us to pray for them that they will be expressly fruitful. Sakina and Salami, they will be expressly fruitful. When we are learning that we will be on ground permanently in Azamba, superintending over this home. In Jesus' name we pray. Strength of Israel will commit this new couple into your hand. We hide them under your evil care. We keep them in your custody. Father, we ask that they be expressly fruitful in the name of Jesus. Lord, they have seen their parents being married for decades. Lord, we decree today that this marriage will endure. Amen. It will stand the test of time. Amen. Affliction will not dissipate it. Misfortune will not tamper with it. Sorrow will not come near it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When you go to the right, you will see blessing. Amen. When you look to the left, you will see honor. Amen. All around you, there is a divinity. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the heavens of the Almighty be open. Be open over your home, yeah. over your business, yeah. over your career, yeah. and over your life. Yeah. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah.